Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how switches learn MAC addresses. So a switch has three primary functions. The first one is to forward frames. One device sends a frame, it hits the switch, the switch is responsible for forwarding the frame to its destination. The second primary function, and this is what we're going to focus on today, is learning MAC addresses. So in order for the switch to actually forward a frame, it needs to know where to send it. Just like you can't send somebody an email without knowing their email address, well, it's the same thing here. The switch, if it doesn't know the destination address, it can't forward the frame. So it has to learn the address is connected to it. The third function, which we cover in a different tutorial, is loop avoidance, preventing a loop from happening on the network because loops can be very detrimental to the functionality of a network. So we'll start off and we're going to take a quick look at an Ethernet frame and some of the important fields in the frame as it relates to learning MAC addresses. And then we'll go ahead and take a look at the MAC address table on a switch. And by then we'll be ready to take a look at the examining process of frames, how a switch examines a frame and how that leads to learning the MAC address. Okay, so let's get started. This is an Ethernet frame. And there are three basic parts. The header, which has a bunch of different fields in it. After the header comes the actual data that you're looking to transmit. And then finally, the trailer. And the trailer has just a single field in it, uh, the frame check sequence. And we have a tutorial on that. Check that out if you're not familiar. Here, we're only interested in two fields in the header. And the first field is the destination MAC address. And the second field is the source MAC address. Again, there are more fields in the header, but we're only interested in these two. So every frame has these. So when the frame hits a switch or any device, any device can look at it and say, well, where is this supposed to go? And where did it come from? OK? Basic information in every Ethernet frame. And this is going to be very valuable to the switch in how it learns at MAC addresses. So we have an example network here. We have a switch with two PCs connected to it. These are the MAC addresses of the PCs, 111 and 222. And here we have the MAC address table of the switch. And so for our example, PC2222, all twos, is going to send a frame to PC1. And the MAC address table on the switch already knows about PC1. And you can see it not only knows the MAC address, but we know where it lives off of which port, FA01, Fast Ethernet 01. So what happens here is PC2 creates a frame, puts it on the wire, and sends it to the switch. The switch is then going to go ahead and look at that Ethernet frame that we talked about. And it's going to look in the header. And it sees the destination MAC and it sees the source MAC. Well, first, it looks at the destination MAC, 1111, PC1. It looks at the MAC address table says, oh, I know that MAC address, and I know where to find it. Great, I know how to forward this frame. I can send it on its way. But it does one more thing. The switch looks at the source MAC address as well. And it says, OK, well, do I know about this MAC address? So it looks in the MAC address table. It sees it does not have it in this example. And so what it does is it adds it. So in the MAC address table, it would simply add the MAC address here. See if I could fit it in here. And it would also add the port number that, it, that this frame came in on. So for instance, it came in on FA02 because that's where PC2 is connected. So in the MAC address table, it would list FA02 as the port that it knows where to find MAC address 2222. And that's it. That's as simple as it gets. A switch will look at the source MAC address and see if it knows about it already. If it does, great. Doesn't matter. Maybe it already found 222 in a MAC address table. If it doesn't know about it, it adds it to the MAC address table, and then it adds the port that it learned the frame on. And so what's happening here is that's how the switch populates its MAC address table. 
So you can figure out from this that if a device never talks to the switch, if, it, if a device never sends a frame into the network, the switch will never know about it because it needs to see a frame sourced from a, from a PC or any device in order to look at its source MAC address. So if PC2222 never sent a frame, then the switch would never know uh, its MAC address or where it lives. To quickly summarize what we went over, we know that switches examine Ethernet frames. And we know, specifically, they look at the destination MAC address because they need to know where to send it, where it needs to go. And they look at the source MAC address. And by looking at the source MAC address, they can learn about new devices talking to the network. And without a device talking to the network, without it sourcing a frame, the switch would never know about it. It would never know where it lives. And that's it. That's how switches learn MAC addresses and populate the MAC address table. Thanks for watching.